Hey guys, so it's time for another review like always. Today I have the Bass Jacks Bubble Wireless Headphones. And you can find these at five below. And surprisingly, they had some pretty decent specs. So you have a built-in microphone, you have a detachable microphone, which doubles down as both. Right here, six hours of battery life, which is very rare for these headphones. Two hour charge time, about 33 feet roughly if you round it off from Bluetooth range, Bluetooth 5.0, and it is micro USB. That might be an issue for some people, but for me, not a big deal, especially if you have millions of cords lying around at home. But anyway, let's get right into this review and see if these headphones are actually worth the $7 price tag. All right, guys, so like always in these videos, timestamps are in the description for you guys that don't have the patience to go through the whole thing. Right off the back, we have the microphone right here, which doubles down as a headphone jack, believe it or not, 3.5 headphone jack. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't expect that. I'm actually curious whether this can, hmm, let me just take a look at the headphones before I say that. Pull everything out of the box for you guys. All right, so here we are. So this is the headset right here. Now I did see them in different colors. The five below near me had white and had pink. So I figured, hey, let's do pink just to give you a different little design going on right here. It does have the left symbol right here and the right symbol over here where my thumb is, very simple. The cushions for the most part are soft, but they do feel a little worn. Basically they're cheap cushions. So expect minimal comfort when you put them on your hair, your head. Uh, these do kind of snap back. There's no flexibility really in these headphones. So something tells me it's gonna be a little bit tight on the head, but we'll know once I actually put it on my face. Uh, micro USB right here that you can see. You have your microphone right here. So this says that it's a built-in headset in addition to being able to have the microphone plugged in like so, so you can use it in like an office setting and have the boom mic itself. We call these boom microphones right here. Outside of that, you do have your USB like always. What else here? It is adjustable as you can see. It doesn't look like there's any type of what's the word like felt material or anything right here so i'm not sure how well it's, how good it's going to fit against the head especially for people that don't have hair me personally i have a skin low haircut but outside of that so far pretty good and lastly let's look at the instructions now this section right here is going to be for anyone that lost this and doesn't know what the buttons actually do so what i want to do right here for you guys is just screenshot or take a picture with a camera phone the part that you want right here see where it says product specifications tells you all the specifications of the phone not the phone <laughs> of the headset itself over here it'll let you know the introduction it tells you what the earbud actually does the microphone the physical buttons things like that how to pair it how to charge it how to put it on pair mode all that good stuff so with that being said, let me just make sure, here we go, pairing a phone to an entertainment, tells you how to do that. All right, so we're good to go. So let's see how to sync it in real time so we don't have to ask that question, how to do it. So syncing, as you can see, there's only one button, believe it or not, oh, get out of here. So these actually don't have any buttons. You know what's funny? As I was looking at the first section, I'm so used to seeing volume on a headset that I just realized it doesn't have it. So it seems like the volume is going to be from your phone itself, just up and down, and it won't have separate head fit. I'm sorry, some headsets have separate volume from the actual device itself, where you could turn this up and the device two different ways, but this doesn't have that. Anyway, let's hold the power button. All right, it's blinking red and blue right now. So that I'm going to assume that it's probably in pair mode. I'm gonna go ahead and take this phone right here. Go to the settings, Bluetooth. Don't mind all the other Bluetooths I have. This is called the Bluetooth Bubble HP. So I wanna go ahead and click on that one. All right, allow access to my call logs. The reason I do that is because some headphones can actually read back your call log to you. Like I have the function where it'll say such and such is calling you and then it'll have the ringtone or it's able to actually do like Google searches and things like that. So kind of be aware of that, each headset. This one didn't say it could do any of that. So it's just a bare bones gen generic headset. But I do like the fact that they sacrificed the physical volume buttons to give you a better battery life. Because these are normally two to three hours with base jacks. Instead you're getting six hours of battery life. So that's a good thing. 
So that is how you sync it. Very simple, very simplistic. Let me get that glare. Oh, nothing I can really do about the glare. Actually, I can get that out of the way. Is that better? There we go. Got the glare out of the way. Very easy, simple sync process. Now, you know what we gotta do. See how it fits and how it sounds in real time and go from there. All right, guys, so this is how the headset's actually gonna sound when you're doing basic recordings with it on. Now, I'll be honest with you, the fit, because this is the double section, this is fit and sound. I'm, I'm not gonna say that I think that it feels bad, but there's no comfort on the top of my head. But if I'm being completely honest here, I don't really need the felt. It's the sides that matter. And because these snap right back into place, for me, it does feel a little bit tight against the air, though, the cushion could feel a lot better. It's a cheap $7 headset, so I don't expect them to have great cushions on their headsets. But this particular one, believe it or not, it's for adults. What I've noticed right off the bat that Five Below does sell kid headphones, and they sell adult headphones. So if you do get this for a child, it'll probably fit realistically. But if you get it for yourself, it'll work just fine too. I've used it for about maybe two hours or so. Even though I have a six hour battery life, let's be real here, I'm not leaving headphones on my ear for six hours that are pink. Um, it felt good. I don't have any issues in terms of comfort or discomfort. Uh, when I did play music over a certain amount of time, which we're going to do the music section next, I didn't notice that um, it can give you ear aches because of the quality of the cushions, the quality of the headset itself. I mean, all headphones can do that if you turn it up to the highest octave. Some people have very sensitive ears. I'm one of those people. And I prefer to have headphones where I can wear them for long periods of time at about 50% volume and feel perfectly fine with comfort. And these do a pretty good job of that for the most part. So like I said before, you know, it's nothing special. They're just basic generic looking pair of headphones, but at least they're affordable and they do work so far. Anyway, let's get into that music section. All right, guys. So the headset is still connected to the phone, of course, and I'm using what is this called? Power Amp. It's an application. It's not free. But I think it's a certain amount of money you pay for, you own it for life. I had this app for a bazillion years with Android. And even though I have other applications that I can use for music, I always go back to Power Amp because it has a built-in equalizer and it's, it's really customizable. It reads folders easily and just the music I want scanned. Anyway, with that being said, there's two things gotta happen first. One, I'm gonna put this on my head so you know that I'm wearing it. And the second one is I'm gonna turn off any equalizers just so you, you can see me do it in real time. So I have bass on 30%. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So that way when we play some music, you'll be able to hear everything. Well, you won't be able to hear it, but I'll be able to give you a more accurate assessment if, if these are decent or not. So we're going to pick a song for you guys. Let's do other, let's do some falling in reverse. What is this? Which one is this? Hmm. All right. All right, so far, it's okay. The voices sound a little distant. Mm. Not looking good so far, guys. I'm gonna wait till the beat drop. Okay. All right, beat's about to drop. It's gonna make the difference. Okay. It's not bad. The bass doesn't really exist. Very, very light bass. I'm about to break down, lurching for a way out. I'm a non-believer, popular, popular monster breakdown. Falling apart. Okay. All right, so uh, let me give you assessment of the first song. I am gonna play something else that's a little bit, um, has more bass, more hip hoppy, so I can give you guys a better, you know, understanding of the fluctuations of if these headphones are actually good. Anyway, this is a song that has a lot of different instruments in it. Um, you gotta pay attention to the subtle changes of music. Like, you'll hear like, do, 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 and then, you know, other instruments will come into the background. His voice blends in very well. The problem with these headphones is that, number one, the moment I turned them on and I heard the voices, I said, they sound very distant, like it's a microphone far away. That's how it sounds with the artist singing. 
And that sounds wild to me where they got that wrong. And normally Bass Jacks does a pretty good job of having all around decent sound. I don't like that so far. Uh, when the actual beat started to drop, the bass is, I'm not gonna say it's non-existent, but it's very, very, very faint. Very faint bass. And like I always said before, for some people, you guys might look for the perfect headset. Or you might find one that does everything except for a couple features. That's what these equalizers are for, for these headsets. But keep in mind, the equalizer only works for the actual music that you're playing, because I own my music. So I'm able to just change and edit whatever I want in, these, in the, uh, the equalizer versus playing stuff from YouTube, playing stuff from Spotify. You're not going to get the same quality of sound if using this headset. Um, it doesn't sound very good. It sounds very muffled. Like the music sounds, when more than one instrument blends in together, you can tell that the headset is struggling to equally play them well, if that makes sense. It's like something is lacking. So let's say, hypothetically, if there's a guitar in the background, the guitar sounds good, but then the trombone or something else is playing kind of gets drowned out. And then when the audio comes in with the voice, it's like kind of a scratchy. Even though the voices are clear, it does sound like someone's kind of talking far away from another room. You can still hear them clearly, but you can definitely tell that they're not directly in front of the microphone. That's what it sounds like. So all in all, it doesn't sound that good, but let me just play something else and see if that'll make a difference in this particular video. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. You know what, let's play some corn. Mm, let's do coming undone. And no wrong one. Here we go. Sounds very uh very broken up at a hundred percent. It's struggling. The beat hasn't even dropped yet and it's already struggling. Okay. Like that. Okay, it sounds pretty good so far. It does better with like bass lines, uh, kicks, snares. It sounds a lot better. But when it comes to the actual audio of uh, the song itself, it's not really that good. It's doable though, don't get me wrong. I began it's Alright, wait for the chorus to come in. Okay. All right, guys. I got a more ex accurate assessment. So, again, the the uh, the problem is that put it this way: when when this blends in, like again, corn is bass heavy in my opinion. Even though they play different instruments, it is bass heavy. Like their older stuff. I don't know. If they went to synthesizers and all that. What I'm hearing is that when it first came on, it was very staticky. It was like, -na 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 -na, and it was staticky. It didn't sound good at all. But I said, let me see how the bass and the other instruments drown, you know, put some noise into this. Soon as the beat dropped, I'm like, it actually sounds really good. It sounds very clear. Even though the bass isn't the best bass that you'll ever hear with a headset, even in, in terms of low tier, it's not that great. But it does a good job. The bass lines, the, uh, again, I don't know all the instruments. So excuse me if I'm getting things wrong. But certain aspects of the song, when it, when I, again, when the beat drops, understand what I'm saying but for this particular song. Listen to it if you don't believe me. It started blending in, like the static was completely pushed to the side. And the reason for that is because that overpowered the static. It does not mean it is not there. Because the moment that they started speaking again, you could hear static when the beat lessened. Like there's certain parts in the song where, you know, the chorus is the part that normally is the most popular part of the song. Then the other aspects of the song where it's lighter, it's not as much bass, you can hear other instruments, guitars, and different things playing in the background. And what happens in this scenario is that it just doesn't blend well by itself with voice. If it's just voice and bass, it sounds very, very like a very cheap headset. If it's multiple instruments mixed together, it kind of drowns out the other sound. It does better in certain areas that it shouldn't. The voice is something that I expected to do well in. 
And because of that, it makes me wonder whether this is going to sound any good with an actual voice recording. That's what I'm worried about. But anyway, with that being said, it's not the worst sounding headset. It is a bass jack, so, you know, temper your expectations. Obviously, you're not going to get JLab or JBL quality or anything like that. So I do want you to temper your expectations. If you're coming from Best Buy buying some headsets and then going to Five Below to get a replacement, you're going to be sorely disappointed in the quality difference. So please do be aware of that. But anyway, with that being said, let's go over to a sound recording. See if I can get that for the actual voice for phone calls. Hey guys, so I'm actually using the OnePlus uh, N30's recording device. And instead of just going to the actual voice recorder, which I normally do, record the voice, and then screenshot the recording, <laughs> not oh, video record the recording, this just makes a lot more sense to just do a, a voice recording. Now what you're hearing is me speaking, and whether you like this quality or not, remember, I can't hear it until I actually finish the recording. This is more likely how your, sound, your uh, phone calls are going to sound. Now, it does vary about the clarity because um, even though I'm speaking to you guys, this is how it's going to sound with perfect network. If you're going in and out of service, breakups, different things like that, depending on your network, if you still have Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, all of those are obviously important factors. But please do understand that me recording right now is exactly how it's going to sound if I'm speaking to a person in a phone call. If you don't believe me, do it yourself. And what I mean by that is if you ever want to test something, go to your voice recorder. See if I even have one on here. I believe I do. Here we go. Voice recorder right here. And what you can normally do, <laughs> lying boss, <laughs> and what you can normally do is um, basically record, press record, and then listen to it. And what that does is it'll actually use the speaker that's coming out of your headset, and it'll let you know how good the audio quality is in terms of phone calls or recordings. That's the fastest and easiest way to do it outside of recording your real phone conversations, which I don't want to do any round. Do right now because I don't have anybody to actually call. Everyone's at work. My wife is home doing Uber, different things like that. So I'm not able to give you guys a real phone call, but this should suffice right here. So if you're okay with the sound, if you're okay with the music that you heard so far, then this is definitely a headset for you. But let's go over to the last section to see if it is it actually worth the $7 price tag. So this is the last section of the video. And is this worth $7? So I'm going to give you guys two answers because there's never just a yes. A lot of times there's a no, even if a product is amazing. There's still some factors that a person may be looking into because we're all different. So just take this with a grain of salt. I like this headset because of the six hour battery life. Oh, uh, you know, what? I am so sorry. I totally forgot. When I did the recording, um, I did have the boom microphone connected to it. Just so you guys know, I'm sorry. I totally forgot to tell you that it just plugs in right here. And that's pretty much it. Boom, microphone, boom. You're, you're in the office now. I think it's a decent headset for what it can do for the $7 price tag. But obviously, if you're looking for something for longevity, I don't actually consider this. And the reason being is that I'm one of those people where when I find a headset, no matter how many times I buy new ones, I stick to what I know works and what I can find on the market. This right here, the music quality wasn't that great. It was nothing to write home about. Um, I did do some edits to it off, off camera where I added tremble and bass and things, and it sounded a whole lot better, but you have to understand that the average person will never turn those things on. They will never mess with that stuff. They just wanna use what they use right outside the box, and that's how my reviews normally are. You'll find some reviewers that go into crazy depth about codecs and things like that. I'm only concerned about the regular man and do you like the headset or not? So, audio quality is average at best. It is nothing to write home about. I don't expect the best quality. If you're outside, wind is blowing, things like that, people won't be able to hear you. But if you're in a quiet area, walking, a nice spring day, you know, wind isn't blowing too much, the headset's going to work perfectly fine for you. Not everybody wants a $200 headset, $300, $400, AirPods, things like that. Even though I get them for dirt cheap, it doesn't change the fact that everyone doesn't have those type of connections. So when you go to Five Below and you find something like this, is it good enough for a kid? Absolutely. Is it good enough for an adult that just wants to listen to a podcast or do YouTube or not do YouTube, but just listen and stream things? Absolutely. Do understand that it is a measly six hours. But what I will also say is that I have bone conducing headphones that last six to eight hours. So that's I, honestly the average amount of battery life, period. And cheap headsets. 
Now, obviously, if you're going JBL, if you're going Soundcore Anchor, you can get 20, 40, 50, 60 hour battery life with active noise cancellation and Dolby Digital 7.1 and all that stuff. But that's when the price tag starts to raise up. I think this is good enough for the average person that does not care about getting the best sound. They just want to get to point A to point B. Now, if you're looking for headphones that are ideal for you, that have great quality sound all around, you don't mind spending $50, $60, then I suggest the OnePlus Buds too. But of course, I'm using these with a OnePlus device, so that's also something to think about. But anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys, and I will see y'all in the next video.